it's more delicious than pot. Nobody likes the taste of pot. And if you well, say you do, you're lying and you're stoned and open your goddamn eyes and have a drink. Look, we all like to unwind here and there. Booze, weed, who says you can't have them both? I'm saying that you really should not have them both. I, I do not recommend it. Booze versus weed, please party responsibly. It's debatable. <laughs> My name is Macy, and I love to get drunk. My name is Jessica, and I smoke weed every day. I'm Kelsey, I'm an alcoholic. I'm for weed. My name is Robin, and I have fun when I'm drunk. I'm Chris, and I'm for 20 friendly. Being drunk is simply way more fun than being high. If there's someone I'm intimidated by or I'm attracted to, I'm more likely to talk to them and engage in conversation if I'm drunk. Champagne, margaritas, Moscow mules. There's none of that with weed. Ooh, child. There's like an activeness when you're drunk, you know? Like you love everybody and you make friends and like pot doesn't make you do that. Pot makes you go. Should we go to In-N-Out? Almost all of my best, most favorite memories happened when I was drunk. Yeah, you can get drunk anywhere. Whereas if you want to smoke weed and get stoned, you kind of have to go to a private area and hope you don't get interrupted. You can like go and do like a speech or something like that that you were really nervous about. Do you do speeches drunk? I've seen you drunk yeah. and you're a fun drunk. Yeah, you're you a should fun see me drunk. high. I guarantee you would spend less on wine than Whoa. you would on an ounce of weed. Pot is so expensive. Oh, shut your mouth. This is not even an argument. In today's day and age, you could probably get two grams for $25 and that will like smoke you out for like two weeks, you and your friends. Drunk Jessica, I start texting people. My Snapchats get all sloppy. I start doing the thing that every one girl does where you do this with your drink. <laughs> Why do I do that? When I'm stoned, I'm very paranoid. My concept of time is completely skewed. I don't know if I'm making any sense. So the last time that I got high, I laid in bed for about seven hours, convinced that I was actually dead. It was torturous. Uh, trust me, girl, I have been there. I've actually called the cops and be like, I think I'm dying. It was fine. <laughs> She's pro weed. It's meditative, it's calming, there's a connection. I think a lot of problems would be solved if people just smoked a joint and sat around a campfire and talked about the world problems. The thing is, is that you have the same experiences when you're high no. or when you're, yes. No! Wait, nope. When you are a marijuana smoker and you meet another marijuana smoker, there is a hit off that happens that is like no other. You don't have to smoke weed out of a joint. You can smoke weed out of a pipe. You can do it out of a bong. You can put it in a brownie. Since smoking weed, I have stopped wanting to drink soda, drink any sort of like artificial things. I'm more into like all natural, healthier things to put into my body. Cause you're a hippie now. It's about music, it's about love, it's about like talking about bigger ideas. Weed makes you get to know who you are inside. I'm so confident that when I get high, I start thinking about shit that I shouldn't be thinking about, like what is making my lungs go up and down right now? It's like bringing a bottle of wine, but in the 21st century, you come in, you you, you bring some bud for everyone, and everyone enjoys each other's bud, and, and, and you're like, hmm, this is some great quality bud, what did you buy it? I stopped smoking weed for a while, and then I got high for the first time, and then I had sex, and it was like, See, I, I just didn't know what was going on. I was like, how long am I taking? Is it three hours or is it 30 seconds? You felt like you were dying. There are people that actually die when they drink a lot of alcohol. Weed is better. It doesn't cause you to die. It doesn't cause you to drive drunk. You're like, mm, I think I'm just gonna stay here, dude. I, I don't think you go, uh, uh, yeah, alcohol culture is about love. I don't think that's the case. The reason bars sell alcohol is because you have to be drunk to be around sweaty, horny strangers who are like, Man, I'm gonna lick your feet and not call you tomorrow. What? What fucking bars are you going <laughs> to? You do shit, you talk to more people, it's like uh, being on cocaine without actually having to do cocaine. <laughs> I like to dance, I like hugs, and I like to do it all when I'm drunk. I do all those things too. I personally am a better, more fun person when I'm drunk. It's not a city of love, but when you're high, it, it will be. <laughs>